Well, this piece was very, very special to do. It was remarkable because, again, it was a, so a single boat sitting there, probably with, with no one in it, there on the ocean by itself. And uh, the experience of painting it was so remarkable for me that I realized I had to do another one. I had to make it bigger. And so I did a second painting in the same in the same vein, there's something, and I again can't really explain why, but there's something very deeply emotional about about what's happening in this piece. There's something about this boat that feels uh, it, it it feels almost thought provoking. There's something going on here. There's not the kind of uh, superficial level of uh, of communication. How can I explain this? I think in the finest of paintings that the sense of presence goes very deep. That it, and that in the best case scenario, the sense of presence that the artist feels is communicated to the person who, who is watching the painting. And this one gave me some very, very uh, deep emotional response. I, there's something about this, it doesn't feel happy to me. It doesn't feel sad to me. I can't even really put words to the emotion that it brings to me, except to say that uh, that I feel deeply moved by it. And I was so moved by it that I went, as soon as it finished, I started again. I, and I wasn't consciously thinking of how I was going to make the second one different, but I was just again going to start painting and see where it took me. Uh, when I started painting this, I was focused on this solitary boat sitting by itself on the ocean. And there was something about the composition that I hadn't thought about at all when I painted it. But it, there's almost a cross here. There's, there's a very strong horizontal, about halfway from the top and the bottom, broken by a vertical, which is also right in the middle. And so there's something... I guess when you're studying classical composition, it's something you're told never to do, uh, that there's supposed to be uh, a certain proportion where things are. And I don't know why this happened, but on this painting, it, the composition went against all the things that I'd been taught when I was in college many years ago. Uh, but there's, there's something, there's a kind of power, I think, that's come from that, from the, uh, the directness, the, the simplicity of the design, and the, the power of the painting. And the other thing that I wanted to try to achieve, do you ever notice when you're looking directly at the sun, there's a kind of glow that comes around where it is? I tried to show that here. I wanted the sun to cut into the cloud a little bit where there's just a tiny little bit of a reddish glow that's coming from the sun. And again, the sun is here. We all know that even though we can't see it. And so I wanted the water to reflect the fact that where the water is, if you were swimming back over there, you'd actually be able to see the sun. Uh, and so I didn't really think about the greens in this one that weren't in the first one. I just knew that I had to keep painting it, and I, and I know that I'm going to paint it again.